Right now, we've still got very mild temperatures across North Texas. Metroplex, of course, included in that. A lot of spots in the Metroplex still holding on to the low 70s right now. Makes sense because we topped out in the low 80s earlier. But we're expecting temperatures overnight to fall into the low 60s, so probably cooling another 10 degrees or so. But clouds are increasing tonight. Winds are picking up as well out of the south southeast. So as we get through tomorrow, I think not only are temperatures going to warm into the low and mid 80s, but you're going to notice more clouds around. Humidity is increasing and the wind is picking up as well. These are wind gusts. So just by 7 a.m. We could already have wind gusts at 15 to 20 miles an hour. We get into the afternoon, uh, even by 10 a.m., starting to see some 30 mile an hour wind gusts. And then I think we're kind of in that 35 to 40 mile an hour wind gust range as we make our way throughout the day, the afternoon on Monday. And this is going to continue into Tuesday as well. So very breezy. It's pumping in that warm, moist air from the Gulf. The winds are picking up ahead of our next storm system that's approaching from the Pacific Northwest. So as this gets a little bit closer to us, the energy gets closer to us for showers and storms. I think we start to see the storm chances picking up, especially Tuesday night. And they're going to continue through early on Friday. Widespread coverage of showers and storms expected, uh, especially Tuesday night through Thursday. You see coverage is at 80% by Thursday. It does look like a decent amount of rainfall expected. So. Monday and Tuesday, just kind of cloudy. Tuesday afternoon, we'll start to watch for a few showers and storms, especially out west. But as we get into the overnight hours and our next system approaches, we start to see the heavier rain moving in from the west as well. So Wednesday, Wednesday night, and then especially on Thursday, as this frontal system is kind of right overhead, that's where we're seeing some heavy rain. Right now, it looks like maybe for your morning commute on Thursday, you're definitely anticipating widespread rain. But this system does look to move out pretty quickly, so hopefully by Friday we get the chance to dry out, and it does look like next weekend should be very nice. The severe weather threat, it's late April, so we're going to watch especially our western counties on Tuesday, and I think we have to watch into Wednesday as well as that cold front gets a little bit closer to us in north Texas. Flooding threat may end up being a concern for us, especially with heavy rainfall expected over a couple of days. Could be looking at a widespread one to three plus inches of rainfall across north Texas between Tuesday and early Friday. Then for the weekend, sunny skies are back, temperatures in the low 80s, and it's still going to be warm tomorrow. Tomorrow, Steve, we just have to wait for the rain to start on Tuesday.